All right, so let's start with this. Have a look at the clock. Uh, what time do you see right now? You said 3 o'clock, that's right, because the big hand is pointing to the 12 and the little hand is pointing to the 3. Now, if I was to do this, what time is it now? That's right. It's 3.10. The minute hand of the clock has turned forward to the second position. Notice how the big hand is the minute hand, the blue one, and it's covering the two, or the second position. And if you look in the small numbers to the off to the right-hand side, it says colon 10. That means 10 minutes. So the time is 3.10. And remember I said I move forward. Because this is the example of moving forward in time. Now, watch this. Tell me which direction I'm moving. What direction is that? Forward in time or backward in time? Is it forward or backward in time? Well, what time do you see now? That's right. I move forward to 3.45, or 3 hours, 45 minutes. Another way of looking at it is it's 15 minutes away from 4. If we were to continue to move forward in time, how many minutes would we have to move to get to 4 o'clock? That's right, 15 minutes. So the minute hand of the clock has turned forward to the 9 position. Notice the big blue arm is covering the 9. And that's 45 minutes, so it's 3 hours, 45 minutes. Where do the hands turn around from? Where are they turning from? It would be the, the part of the arm that doesn't move. You'll notice that they, all, they both turn around from the same central point, right in the middle of the clock face. When the hands move forward like this, we say that this is called moving clockwise. It's the clockwise direction. So clockwise involves moving the hand to the right. Now, if we were to move the clock face, or the clock hand, the minute hand this way, what time is it now? That's right, it's 3 o'clock. What direction did I move? If moving this way is clockwise, moving this way is called opposite clockwise. In math, we call it counterclockwise. Counterclockwise. So, again, what do you think we call the direction when we move the hand backward? So, backward is in this direction. That's called counterclockwise. Clockwise is moving this direction. So again, if we use the 12 at the top of the clock as our focal point, moving to the right from 12 is clockwise. Moving to the left from 12 is called counterclockwise. I hope you I hope this helps you understand the difference between clockwise and counterclockwise.